Hey guys, we've got about uh, two minutes to the non-farm payrolls. I'm on a four hour chart of the GBP USD. We've seen a four hour fakey. We actually had uh, three inside bars here. The false break above the mother candle right here, that's this bar right here. False break to the upside and then the market's just capitulated down here. And that initiated the fakey on the short side. And I've just turned on the camera and we've got about a minute to go now so I thought I'd just uh, record the trade and see what happens and show you guys the results. Now the idea behind the fakie just quickly before this data comes out, um, we're basically trading a contrarian approach hopefully in line with the trend. Currently we've got a downtrend going on so we are in line with the trend going short but we're trading the contrarian style here we're waiting for the false break and then waiting for the move back in the direction of the uh, existing trend hopefully that made sense I'll go over it after the trade but the data is coming out now and uh, we have some movement pretty bearish at this point still below that level there at 145.88 my target on the trade is down towards this area at 144.05, quite a significant way away at this point but uh, once we get down towards this area here I'll probably look to trail the stop or possibly lock in depending on what the price action does. I'll just quickly take it to a one hour chart and show you what's going on. You can see we do have a pretty bearish setup going on there and continuation with the trend. Pretty simple trade really, I just put on the camera to do something on a Friday evening, a bit of amusement. Okay, we're still coming down and 145.38 about to be hit, that's that level I've drawn right there. Okay, so while this thing's unfolding, I'll just explain that fake again. When I said contrary, and it basically means you're doing the opposite to what most people are doing. Most people would have seen this support level at 145.88 and the small double bottom or triple bottom off this level actually it's a double bottom they've seen this break up out of the inside bar consolidation they've probably gone long expecting it to carry up to higher levels probably through here we've taken the opposite approach we've waited for that breakout and then traded the reversal back down and that is that proprietary setup I call the fakie something I uh, promote quite a lot here at Learn to Trade the Market is trading with the uh, price action without any indicators and trying to be contrarian and that is exactly what this trade represents is clear price action no indicators at all there's, there's no squiggly lines or MACDs, RSIs or stochastics or anything funny like that it's just a plain vanilla price action and candlesticks or bar charts We've got the trend going down at the moment if you zoom out on the daily you can see it's pretty obvious to the downside and I like to be in line with that momentum at all times especially when I teach beginner traders I want them to stick with that prevailing trend if you go to a 15 minute chart things start to get a bit messy uh, I prefer to trade on the one hour the smallest time frame I'll go is the one hour uh, the best setups occur on the four hour and the daily chart actually if I take it onto that daily chart you'll notice quite a huge reversal going on here you see a very strange day there we actually went all over the place and then this day right here was an inside bar was also a pin bar reversal on the daily so we're coming off quite a interesting rejection of higher prices we're coming off those two bars one two and then today's session the Friday we actually moved up first and then rejected down so we've got some tailing action going on those candles you take it back to the four hour you can see the market's still pushing down what I'm going to do is once we hit this level right here at 145.40 that's that swing point there, it's also that swing point there. I'm going to consider locking in break even or just exiting the trade. Now I'll just talk about stop placement. Now obviously stop placement is going to be different for everyone. Something I just want to say is that when you look at all the course notes that I provide, 
I touch on entries more than I touch on anything else because stops and targets are completely up to the individual. I provide a guide on where to place your stop and where to get out. But at the end of the day, you just have to have a general way of thinking and a general plan, and you should be able to come up with a satisfactory stop-loss placement. Now, I'm just going to talk about that stop-loss placement on this trade. Now, obviously, the trigger was that break down below 145.88. For an intraday trade, placing the stop above that recent swing high might be a bit wide. What I'll usually do is try and place the stop a minimum of 40 points on something like uh, the British pound and it might be a little bit arbitrary to say 40 points or 50 points but when you're trading the non-farm payroll things get so volatile when you're entering a position just into the news you probably just want to have an amount of money or an amount of pips that you're just prepared to risk and if the thing starts to move against you, you're pretty much just going to get out. Now, I do not promote trading the news. It's something that I hate. Um, I did see the setup, and that's why I flicked the camera on, and we've got the data coming out, so I kept it in mind. Now, when people email me and say, you know, do you trade the non-farm payroll? Do you trade the G, um, GDP data? Do you trade uh, the Federal Reserve interest rate announcements, Niall, are you into all that stuff? And I say, no, absolutely not. I let the price action guide me, and you'll see that this trade actually occurred before the data. And going into that data, it was just a little bit of a push, and the setup is coming off nicely. Something else I want to talk about here while this trade's unfolding, we had some rejection on these four-hour candles here. There is a bearish pin bar reversal there, and you'll notice the market also put a similar pattern in right there and we didn't actually get above that high there so we are stepping lower in quite a nice fashion you'll see nice swinging price action to the downside we've just hit that level there at 145.41 so I'm going to trail the stop to this level right here I'm just going to put the camera on pause while I go and do that Okay, so I've adjusted the stop loss. It's now at 145.89, just behind that level. It's approximately break even. So what I might do here is put the camera on pause. It's now 10:36 p.m. in Queensland, Australia. What I'm going to do is put it on pause and come back if the trade uh, either stops me out at break even or moves down for a bigger profit potential, probably around 144.95, 144.85, somewhere in this area down here would be an awesome exit point. We might even get down in the larger target at 144.05. Not sure yet, we'll just see how we go. I'll come back uh, as things develop. See you soon. All right, welcome back to this trade. Uh, we've got the GBP USD on a four hour chart here. Just to recap, I'm currently in the trade from 145.88 on the break through this line here you can see the market has fallen away as expected the uh, non-farm payroll data has taken the market lower into the close now the market closed about an hour ago I'm just sitting here in a hundred point profit came very close to being stopped out as the market retested that break even stop area I'd actually trailed my stop down came very close to being stopped out and then the market fell away into the close now I'm going to be exiting on the Monday open so you might want to watch that uh, Monday open to see what the result is. But I entered around 145.88, trade uh, sitting around 109 points in profit, and I'll be using the Monday open as my exit point. I might get a favorable gap down for a larger profit, or I might get an unfavorable move up. Uh, hopefully somewhere around the current price or better for a nice exit of over 100 points. If you'd like to learn more about my trading strategies, visit my website www.learntotradethemarket.com. I also offer a Forex trading course and members community, plus a lot of free content, articles and videos. Hopefully see you around the site soon. Take care and good trading.